Good morning YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. DIY tips, motor vlogs, tips, hacks, and accessory installation and review videos. If you're passionate about the Honda Goldwing or motorcycling in general, then you're in the right place. So I'd appreciate it if you click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Today we're on our way to Tupelo, Mississippi. We just left the Fairfield uh, Inn and Suites in El Dorado. I put my windshield up here a little bit. We're on Highway 82 East again. And we're going to be on this for a little while. Uh, yesterday, if you watched the motor vlog, you know we had a pretty nice uh, ride from Dallas-Fort Worth to El Dorado. Weather was nice and cool. It's cool this morning. It's about 78 degrees. It's cloudy. I'm hoping we stay dry today. I know there are thunderstorms in Mississippi, but we're going to do our best to avoid them. And uh, the highways have actually been very nice in Arkansas. I think the highways in Arkansas, state highways, or the U.S. highways anyway, are better than they are in Texas. There's certainly not as much construction here as there is in Texas. So, we got the Bush Tech trailer in the back. I got Ricky in the back seat. And we're just heading to Tupelo. Man, it would be bad news if one of those logs fell off that truck, wouldn't it? So I think I'm going to give him some extra room. I don't trust these trucks hauling logs or 2x4s or whatever they're hauling. So it's a beautiful morning with a great highway, some pretty scenery, a lot of nice trees. I just love this part of the country. For those of you who might be interested, I thought I'd uh, tell you what gear we're wearing on this ride. I am wearing the uh, Tourmaster Solution 2.0 boots. Uh, I probably have three or four pair of these and uh, they're usually good for a couple of years before the soles start wearing out. But they provide good protection. They're pretty, pretty weatherproof, moisture proof. Uh, they can get a little hot in the summer, but uh, I like them. They're not super comfortable, especially for walking. They're okay for riding, but when you get off to walk around, they're not real comfortable. But I haven't found a motorcycle boot yet that's real comfortable for walking around them. I've got my Olympia Air Glide uh, pants on. I removed the armor from the pants, and I'm wearing uh, Bond armor underneath the pants. I'm wearing a, an Olympia Air Glide 4 jacket and I've removed the armor from it as well and I'm wearing the Bond Armor uh, cool mesh underneath that. And then of course I have my gloves that you can see here and my HJC IS Max 2 helmet. Now, Ricky has on some boots. I don't know what kind of boots she has, but she has some lace-up boots on. They're kind of uh, ankle-high boots. She also has the uh, Olympia pants, but she has the armor in hers. And she also has an Olympia Air Glide uh, ladies' jacket. But we removed the armor from her jacket, and she is now wearing, for the first time, uh, Bond Armor Cool Mesh underneath that. I think she has a t-shirt on underneath it. So we're both wearing the Bon Armor. Uh, I like it because it's super comfortable. Uh, the cool mesh is really cool. You hardly know you have it on. And I think the armor is far superior to what comes in the Olympia jackets. It is CE Level 1 rated, so uh, it's, uh, it's good stuff. You need to check out Bon Armor. 
And Ricky has on an Arai three-quarter helmet. I don't know the model number, but she's had it for quite some time, and she really likes it. She's never found another helmet uh, that fits quite as good as the Arai. Uh, she has a little harder time finding helmets to fit her than I do. And she also has on a pair of, uh, I think they're Harley-Davidson leather half gloves. They are fingerless gloves. There you go. Uh, she usually is on the back taking pictures with her camera, but her camera started messing up yesterday. The uh, little shutters that cover the lens won't open completely, so we're going to have to get her a new camera. And I'll probably give her this uh, GoPro Hero 7 when we're on the Natchez Trace and let her do some videotaping with it. Uh, oh, I guess about 35, 40 miles uh, east of Greenville, Mississippi. We're on, still on Highway 82 East. And I wanted to kind of update you on the Cardo Pack Talk mold issue that I raised yesterday. Uh, when we came to a stop today, I looked at my uh, GPS settings under the Garmin 595 and I went to the Bluetooth settings and under the pack talk bold there's a checkbox for uh, let me pull it up here real quick and I'll see if I can tell you what it says it's actually for media audio and that was checked and I'm assuming that means it wants me to listen to mp3 files over the pack talk bold I'm sorry, over the uh, Garmin 595. So I unchecked that, and it now lets me hear the music through the Goldwing. So it was basically a setting on the GPS that allowed this to work. Now, for some reason, uh, my headset without an intercom headset connected to it works fine even if that box is checked but with two headsets paired and the intercom you have to uncheck that checkbox for media audio and that solved my problem for now so now I'm getting music from the Goldwing and we still have an intercom and I'm getting my directions from the GPS uh, the audible navigation uh, suggestions or instructions I kind of was hoping to wait for a break in these clouds to show you some bright blue sunshiny day, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, we did get some rain earlier, not as bad as yesterday, but we've had some rain. And I see a lot of clouds up ahead, so it looks like we may get some more. I don't know if we're going to have any clear weather today. but. Um, just to update you on my wingding schedule, I'm planning to be at the uh, welcome party, which I guess is Tuesday night. And I think it starts at 5 and goes to like 8 o'clock at the Ryman uh, Auditorium. I plan to be there. And I'll also be at the uh, trade show on Wednesday morning. So I will be, you'll, you'll see me, I'll have my Cruiseman's Garage shirt and cap on, so in case you want to connect and say hi, uh, I'd like to see you and meet some of the people that follow me on YouTube. I do appreciate all you guys following me on YouTube and all you subscribers and uh, those of you who follow me on Facebook too. 
so thanks again for joining me i'll update you a little later as we get closer to tupelo Welcome to the Natchez Trace. 